Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I'm going back to the year I was born, 1975. Um, love will keep us together. All those fun songs. Happy birthday, baby, baby. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Right. No. Singing time is over. Michelle trying to impersonate songs that she hasn't heard for decades is probably not a good idea. <sighs> yesterday. That's not the Beatles yesterday, so I'm not going to sing it that way. All right. First of all, I have just put a piece of tape across the back of the hole just to protect this beautiful record. Secondly, as you can see, I have painted out with Mars Black straight from the tube. And it's not very well done either. It's a bit, bit lineish. Um, the yellowness that was there. The, um, so what my target is today is to create a, a spiral pour with no running off the edges. As was my previous pour, um, I'm looking to collect uh, some quality rather than, I'm not actually looking to necessarily create paintings that will be able to be used. No, that's not going to work at all. Let's just do it this way. Go away. Um, I'm not looking to make a painting which is saleable. Although, if somebody takes a fancy to it, they're more than welcome to make a financial suggested price. Um, this piece, like the last, is to create content for material. Um, and I'm actually going to be using the same colour com combination as the previous one. Because I want them to be able to tone together. So I'm just going to run this paint around the edges so that we've got a reasonably even spread of a negative space. A lot of my content that I have has a white negative space and I realized that very little of my clothing that I wear is white based. So this is the reason and justification for me doing some black negative space stuff. Let's just speed that running. By giving it something to run on. Come on. Now, last time I did a, a flip and drag, which came out looking like a, bit, a little bit like a dragon. This one is not going to be a flip and drag. It's going to be a spiral pour. So, come on. All right, so we have a covering, roughly even, across the entire 
record nice and shiny i can wave to you in the reflection <laughs> um how does it get any better than this what magic can we create today guys i am very excited so let's first off get rid of those air bubbles <laughs> And then next, let's prepare our cup. Uh, let's pop it over here. And I'm just going to... It's not going to need a lot of paint because... It's not going to do that for me. That's fine. Um, it's not going to need a lot of paint purely because it's... Um, because I want it to stay on the record... It doesn't need to have a lot of paint. So I'm going to stick to the same colours as I used last time, which was uh, white, copper, grass green, and orange. So I'm actually going to put the copper next to the white because it's the least likely to freak out about being next to white. And the copper and the orange have silicon in, but not a lot. And the orange is super runny. And that green is super thick. So let's see what happens. <laughs> ah, I might actually start us off with a blob of green. Blobs, right? There we go. It is really thick. I'm not sure how well this is going to turn out. But let's give it a go. So... The target with a spiral pour is to pour very slowly and in little circles. So that as the other colors start to come out, they build on each other and make ringlets. Ugh, this is not working very well. Because that orange is way too runny. Yep. Yeah. We do have a small amount underneath the Where you can't see right now, there is some ringlets happening. And now we've got the thick white coming in. So we, let's zoom in and show you what we got. It's not ideal. Uh, let's just pop any air bubbles we have and see if any might get some cloud action with that white happening actually. But no silicon cells, it's fine. So, let's stretch it. And I'm just going to stretch around and around and around. I 
yeah, we've got some cloud action happening. All right. I don't think I'm gonna love it. Let's see. We got some weird stuff happening. Oh, can you see the birdie? Can you see the bird, 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 bird? That bird with its wing. Can you see? Its little, little beak. <laughs> All right. It's going from a sparrow. It's growing to a giant bird with a kind of like a Kia note, Kia beak. <laughs> Still a birdie, but it's a different birdie, or more of a parrot. I do like this cloud effect in here, but I am not liking the overall so I'm gonna take some photos of the bits I like and then let's play all right <laughs> I like playing and I think this one's gonna be a play one all right cool we're back once I've taken some photos okay so I took a couple of photos not sure if I'll do anything with them What I'm wondering is what to do next. Flick on some silicone, Michelle. So this is my Durex Play Dimethicone, Perfect Glide. It's 100% Dimethicone. Um, and that is good i'm just gonna <laughs> i can hear doug in my head saying dip it dip it dip it oh sure all right doug you got me i hear you but now i've gone and got silicon on there i'm not sure if i'm Tried to pull directly up, but it wouldn't let me. Well, that looks funky. That's not so cool because it's got missing bits of paint. Dip it again, dip it again. All right, now we've got enough paint on there to fill that canvas. That's awesome. Can paint the edges black later. All right. I like it. It's fun. 
this one on the other hand has some harsh lines which need a bit of something else my black's too thick I think is what my problem is Yeah, no. Yeah, no, that's not cool. I like this piece here, that's funky. All right guys, this is not fun. I like, I like what we've got here. And um, if anybody else likes it and wants to own it, then let me know. I like that. I'm gonna put that aside so I don't make a mess of it. What I'm not getting in this piece is the oomph. Oomph. You know what I mean? Oomph. Alright, let's let's have a play. We've got some turquoise. We've got some Viridian Hue Green, which has got silicon in it. Anything in the tins tends to have silicon in it. Jackson Pollock, eat your heart out. Uh, a bit of gold. Should we have some gold as well? You guys can't even see this. Sorry. Doo -doo Gold. Now this is ultramarine. Hunting around for a stick and it's got silicon in it. We're still struggling, aren't we? All right. I'm going to just put a little bit of crimson red. Right. Now. I'm going to move this out of the, out of the way. What's she doing now? Okay, after washing my hands, because they were looking pretty grabby, I've grabbed another record. This one is... It, I think this one defines exactly what I'm doing. I'm making art for art's sakes. So, 
I've put my bit of sellotape across the back of the hole, flip it over, I have already painted that, although I'm not sure how well that's going to hold up because it looks like it's got a bit of a chip in its armour there. So I'm going to bring out the piece de la restaurant. Piste de restaurant. I can't say it. Blah, 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 blah. The white paint. Oh, crikey. She really has gone nuts now. Yes. I will make two bits of art. Art for art's sakes. As I said, this and this is why I decided to wash my hands because I know I was going to stick my fingers into white paint. And they were covered in black. So, if you're going to stick your fingers into white paint and expect it still to be white at the other end, make sure you have clean fingers. That's all I'm saying, right? Now, some of you are getting excited. Some of you are freaking out about what I'm about to do. Some of you have no clue at all. So... let me bring you up to speed i did a video a while ago kind of did what i would call go viral we're over four hundred thousand views at this point and it's sort of like made my hair stand on end with excitement and so now we have one of my favorite fans <laughs> I got fanboys. How cool is that? Oh. Um, one of my favorite viewers telling me to dip everything. And so, Doug, I adore you. And uh, this one's for you, honey. So I tried dipping that canvas. And it got a quite nice result. And now we've added more color more possibilities but now i'm going to dip a white record onto a black record so this is my unity of all colors some might call me Trying to bring the white point of view to the black point of view. No, I'm just playing. It's art for art's sake. There is no reason, justification. There is no race, gender, colour, politics being said or done here. This is art for art's sake. As the record says, let the record set state that this is art for art's sake. Just popping those air bubbles that were all through that. And now, do I put silicon onto this or not? What do you reckon? Yes, no, no. No is lighter. Let's go with what's lighter because what's light is right for you and in this case for me so we're bringing back the black one the colored one oh my god somebody could have a right royal fun time with my my wordage today so we've got silicon in there somewhere don't we here we go Three, two, one, flip and dip. <laughs> oh, crikey. Oh, shaking. Let's play horses. Now, the next thing is, can I actually get this off? Let's try it. 
need to get air into there. Are ready? Come on, record. Let go. I know you love each other, but it's now time to let go. All right. So we didn't actually end up with a lot of color on this one. That's really interesting. We left a lot of white paint behind though. You guys know it. I'm double dipping. In some circles that's considered inappropriate. Don't double dip your chip. Oh, that's a bit better. Okay, I'm going to work on this one first. It's not got a lot of paint. But there's definitely stuff happening. That moment when you realize you're out of focus and your hands are full. Okay. I did not think about this in advance. I'm going to bring this over and set it on top of my red paint tin. There. So, this one has a lot of paint still on it, so I'm just going to tilt. There's a lot of paint on that one, very little paint on that one, but I'm kind of liking it. It's reminiscent of that 15 pot flip that I did recently. Do you remember that one? All right, let's see what happens when I do this. Somebody said to me, aren't you worried when you torch records that the record is going to bend? Uh, if your record gets warm enough to bend, your paint is screwed and not in a good way. Okay. So if you'll notice, I'm keeping the flame moving, never leaving it in any one position. Let's move over to this one. Ah! Oh, okay. That was a bit dangerous. My uh, tripod became off balance. So I want to show you, I've got my hand at that point, and that's just warm, okay? And that's about how far off the paint I am. honestly say I'm not overly excited about either of them. <laughs> How does it get any better than that? Let's move this more front and centre. Nope. I don't like them. Don't like them, don't love it. How did you know? That 
that's better that is so much better and this piece still has escaped there is so much paint on this one now I am actually a bit worried about it but I like both of them so much more and they they look like a set we could hang them whoa dude what are you doing who are you where'd you come from look at this what is that big band of something Alright. This is so funny. Ah! What happened? No, that's not what I asked you to do. Sorry. This is fun. Guys, I'm playing with paint. I actually have no, no point of view if I was just to wash this all off. Are you willing to fail? That's my question to you. Are you willing just to let it go and have no point of view at all about what the end result's going to look like? Alright, I'm going to leave these to dry. So we've got the three paintings, we've got the original dip. And these two records, I'm going to leave them all to sit and dry and I'm going to come back and see what we all think whether we love them or not in three two one back let's start with this one um I'm, I really like this I actually think I would probably hang it that way It's just pretty. Kind of reminds me of a flaming orchid. What do you see? I like it. It does have, I just want to point out to you, these ridges. And this is where the black paint was really thick. So we've got areas where you can see the canvas from where the paint was really thin through to where you've got these big thick shiny ribbons and I actually really like it it kind of uh, I would probably highlight those um, so it just kind of has a um, a sense of a because the other thing it looks like to me is a fairy um, with the big wings behind her and her silk like body and her arms uh, that just kind of a fire fairy maybe and there's even look over here a little green leaf <laughs> so I think what I might do tomorrow is embellish this one with you that sounds like fun let's see what we can create with that one anyway on to the records. Bum, bum, -la 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 -la. These two have come out looking fabulous. And I'm not sure I can. Yes, I can. Yay, I can fit them both in. They would hang so pretty together on a wall. Um, really glad I added that extra golden at the end. That has had some very cool effects. Look at this. Just enough glint of gold just to pop it out a little bit. It's cool. Again, we've got those ridges where the thickness of the paint from pulling it apart this one I'm not sure it's a hundred percent dry um, and as I said in yesterday's video I don't trust myself I've got a bug in there I think but that's okay that adds to the character um, over here see this was the one that was on the bottom 
and I'm not sure it's 100% dry. I poured it uh, three days ago and still has, and I'm not going to touch those areas because I've done it before, touch them and or they probably wouldn't notice it in this painting and um, being really pissed off with myself sorry about that word but that's what I was um, again the gold just smeared in beautifully flecked around look at this that is stunning I really like that bit. So there we are guys. I like them. I think they would look fabulous in a very stark um, area. Continuing on a black and white theme but with some pops of colour thrown in. Um, and you could even try and hang them. Like that bit that i pointed out before that I really like. There's its matching bit there. It's not quite matching. They don't look quite the same. They go in opposite directions. But that is how it was smushed. Pop! Just like that. Smushed. As somebody said on a previous video, smushed. The word that only acrylic pourers know when they have Done exactly what we did in this video. Smushed them together. <laughs> Alright beautifuls. I have had fun playing with this. As I said. I didn't start off doing what I thought I was. End up doing what I thought I was going to start doing. But I am pleased with the results. Uh, you will see this one again. I'm going to have a play with that one. And uh, you know, tidy up the edges. But also. Bring in a little bit of something else into this. So, I adore you. Thank you for coming to play with me. And uh, if you'd like to come and play with me live uh, online, and you'd like to know when I'm going live, then please, please, please sign up on this email, uh, sign up list thing. And I will send you an email 24 hours before I'm going live so that you can rearrange your schedules if you want to. <laughs> um, it still blows me away that so many of you choose to come and play with me from all around the world. I adore you all. I adore you all for watching my videos and commenting and liking and subscribing and all those really cool things that you do on YouTube. Um, and I'm really, really grateful. Um, to Kim, she donated to me via my PayPal link last month. There's been several of you buying cabochons and um, watching the advertising videos. You know, 30 seconds of that ad at the beginning of the video pays me a few cents. And that's what keeps me being able to buy that and you guys using the Amazon links. I'm so grateful that you do all of those things. Um... And I am looking forward to continuing creating magic for you, with you, and how much more fun can we have? I adore you, and I'll see you super soon. Bye-bye.